looking back on it, I find it uh, unbelievable, in fact, that I've been working in education for the past 14 years. If I think of my history and how I felt about my own uh, schooling and um, the learning that I did uh, when I was younger, my own feelings about school were very negative. Um, I didn't have a very good experience. Um, and I didn't ever feel really connected to the teachers that I had um, in the different schools that I went to. And um, I never wanted to work in a school after I left. I felt like I had enough. And um, yeah, so looking back on it now, it seems rather ironic that um, I've been working in this university for the past 14 years. But I did have some very positive um, people and teachers and people who've influenced me, um, especially in my high school. So there were a few that stood out. And I was thinking about one the other day. Uh, it was a teacher um, of literature in my high school who made a deep impression on me. Um, I remember one day I was sitting in class and I was extremely depressed. I think I even had my head down on my desk like you do. And uh, after the class was over, um, the teacher called me over uh, to her desk and she had an apple there. And she said, Jeff, um, do you know what you can do with an apple? I didn't know what else to say except maybe eat it. <laughs> so she picked up this apple and she started um, pressing the, the skin of the apple with her fingers like this. And she said, have you ever tried this? You take an apple, you put it in your hand, and um, you start sort of pushing on it and um, softening the inside. So she gave it to me and I started trying it. So I was pushing this apple and sort of mashing the inside and softening it a bit. And um, we did that for a while and um, I was a little bit confused about what was going on, but, um, but it was interesting and I felt like she was maybe trying to communicate with me about something. Um, so we did that for a while and just sort of talked about things and after a while the apple got uh, really soft inside. Um, it was almost like liquid. And she said, okay, now come with me. So we went outside and um, we were standing out sort of behind the school. And um, it was, um, the school was made of brick, so it was like a brick wall. And she said, okay, now, now watch this. And she took the apple and she threw it as hard as she could against this wall. And it just splattered. It just made this like round uh, pattern on the, on the wall of the school. And I couldn't believe what she was doing. It just sort of um, broke my mind at that point. It just really stopped my mind. And I just looked at this sort of round pattern of this um, wet and broken apple all over the school. And it just made me laugh. Um, and at the same time, I felt like it really um, touched something in me, but I didn't really know what it was. But it really felt like we had stepped a little bit beyond the bounds and uh, sort of opened up something in me. And I found it very interesting. And uh, I felt like that teacher was trying to communicate with me on a level that um, I hadn't experienced before uh, with other teachers. And it was a bit risky. I think that um, even the look in her eye made me feel like I didn't really know if this was acceptable or not. It was that kind of feeling. But these moments were rare and they didn't happen very often. And it's funny because I went on to study um, literature at university. It's possible that she had something to do with that. Um, so I studied and I finished and eventually um, I discovered a passion for learning. And it happened much later in my life. And um, it sort of manifested in, in um, wanting to start and do something new. I wanted to do something in a different way. And uh, when I was approached to um, help found this college, um, I and I think the other people had this really deep intention to do something a bit different, uh, to have a place where um, students and lecturers and administration could all communicate with each other um, in a more direct and a more human way. And um, I think we set out, 
set out with this aspiration to really create this kind of culture and environment. Um, so I was reflecting on that the other day when um, I walked into the courtyard outside and uh, there was a student there and she was experimenting with her art project. She had set up targets around the courtyard. So there was a target on one of the windows, there was a target on the uh, um, tiles on the ground, there was a target on the stairwell that runs along the side and she had filled these water balloons. I didn't know it at the time, but it was filled with colored water, red and blue and green. And she was attempting to throw these water balloons at these targets and break them, although they weren't breaking, they were sort of bouncing around everywhere. And she handed me the water balloon and she said, you want to try? I said, absolutely. So I took this water balloon and I threw it as hard as I could against the wall of the school. It didn't break, it just bounced off the wall. Um, and sort of bounced around the courtyard, which was hilarious. And we both laughed. And um, I felt like at that moment, um, you know, we weren't teacher and student or anything. We were just two people experimenting, um, finding out what would happen. And I think it was part of her art project. And uh, I felt included in that and uh, in her particular ceremony, whatever she was doing there. And uh, I felt like there was a kind of communication that was happening simply because the students were allowed to be and do what they were doing. And uh, it reminded me of the, um, this moment I had with this teacher in the past, which looking back on it now, seemed like such a small moment in time. And it was very, um, almost felt like it was a dangerous thing to do to have this uh, moment with this teacher. And uh, to have an environment where our students could be allowed to be who they are and what they are and, and, and do the work that they're doing without this kind of fear and compromises. I felt like um, to some extent we had succeeded in creating the kind of culture and environment that we set out to create from the beginning, which made me very proud and very happy. Yeah, so um, I think for me it was a kind of closure or um, bringing home something from the past.